This is chapter 8, section 2, beginning on page 260, titled Early Challenges, American Diary. In 1791, Congress passed a tax on the manufacture and sale of whiskey. Opposition to the tax was strong in western Pennsylvania. Farmers refused to pay and attacked tax collectors. The federal government took action against the Whiskey Rebellion. Alexander Hamilton believed that using force to stop the rebellion would, quote, do us a great deal of good and add to the solidity of everything in this country, close quote, from American politics in the early republic. The Whiskey Rebellion and the West, main idea. The new government was faced with challenges in Pennsylvania and on the frontier. History and you. Have you ever opposed a government action? Read to learn how the new government handled rebellious citizens. The Whiskey Rebellion was only one challenge or demanding situation faced by the new government. Native Americans aided by the British and Spanish were resisting the American settlers' expansion westward. Britain and France were pressuring the United States to become more involved in their conflicts. President Washington stood firm by not involving the United States in foreign conflicts. The Whiskey Rebellion. Washington was concerned about the growing resistance of Western Pennsylvania farmers to the tax on whiskey. Their protest turned violent in July 1794. An armed mob attacked tax collectors and burned down buildings. This armed protest, called the Whiskey Rebellion, alarmed government leaders. Washington and his advisors decided to crush the challenge. This action sent messages that the government would use force when necessary to maintain or keep the social order. Struggle over the West. The new government also faced difficult problems in the West. Washington worried about European ambitions in the Northwest Territory. He signed treaties with the Native Americans, hoping to lessen the influence of the British and Spanish on them. American settlers ignored the treaties and moved onto lands promised to the Native Americans Fighting broke out between the two groups. Washington sent an army under General Arthur St. Clair to restore order in the Northwest Territory. In November 1791, St. Clair's forces were defeated by Little Turtle, chief of the Miami people. More than 600 American soldiers died in the battle by the Wabash River. Many Americans believed an alliance with France would help them defeat the British. Spanish, uh, pardon me, let me start that over again. Many Americans believed an alliance with France would help them defeat the British, Spanish, and Native Americans in the West. Turn the page. The possibility of French involvement prompted Britain to take action in the West. In 1794, the British government urged Native Americans to destroy American settlements west of the Appalachians. The British also began building a new fort in Ohio. The Native Americans demanded that all settlers north of the Ohio River leave the territory. Washington sent another army under Anthony Wayne, a former Revolutionary War general, to challenge their demands. In August 1794, his army defeated more than 1,000 Native Americans, led by the Shawnee Chief Blue Jacket at the Battle of Fallen Timbers near present-day Toledo, Ohio. That's very close to us, by the way, folks. The Battle of Fallen Timbers crushed the Native Americans' hopes of keeping their land. In the Treaty of Greenville, 1795, they agreed to surrender most of the land in what is now Ohio. Reading check. Analyzing. Why did some Americans want to form an alliance with France? Problems with Europe. Main idea. President Washington wanted the nation to remain neutral in foreign conflicts. History and you. Have you ever been in the middle of a disagreement between two friends? Read why Washington looked for middle ground in a war between Britain and France. Most Americans cheered the French Revolution of 1789 because of its, mil because of its sim similarity to America's own revolution. By 1793, however, the French Revolution turned bloody. Public opinion was now divided. When Britain and France went, France went to war in 1793, some Americans sympathized with France and others supported Britain. Washington hoped that the United States could maintain its neutrality or not taking sides in the conflict between France and Spain. As time passed, however, remaining neutral became more difficult. Washington proclaims neutrality. The French tried to involve the United States in their conflict with Britain. They sent diplomat Edmund Zenay to, re, uh, to recruit American volunteers to attack British ships. 
In response, President Washington issued a proclamation of neutrality, which prohibited American citizens from fighting in the war. It also barred French and British warships from American ports. The British captured American ships that traded with the French and forced the American crews into the British Navy. This practice of impressment angered the Americans. Washington sent John Jay, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, to negotiate a peaceful solution with Britain. Few Americans approved of Jay's treaty. In it, the British agreed to withdraw from American soil. However, the treaty did not deal with the issue of impressment or British interference with American trade. Washington found fault with the treaty but realized it would end the crises. The Senate narrowly approved it after a fierce debate. Treaty with Spain. Spanish leaders feared that the United States and Great Britain would work together against them in North America. Thomas Pinckney was sent to Spain to settle the differences between the United States and Spain. In 1795, Pinckney's treaty gave the Americans free navigation of the Mississippi River and the right to trade at New Orleans. Washington's farewell. Washington decided not to seek a third term. In his farewell address, he attacked political parties and involvement in foreign affairs. He also urged his fellow citizens to, primary source, observe good faith and justice toward all nations. It is our true policy to steer clear of permanent alliances. Close quote from the Annals of America. These parting words influenced the nation's foreign policy for more than 100 years. Reading check explaining, what was the significance of Jay's treaty? Section two review, uh, define the following. Uh, we have challenge, maintain, neutrality, and impressment. Main ideas, number two, identifying. What did Washington's actions in crushing the Whiskey Rebellion signify to the country? Number three, discussing. How did the British challenge U.S. neutrality in the war between France and Britain? Critical thinking, number four, compare and contrast U.S. attitudes and actions toward the Native Americans and U.S. actions in foreign affairs. Number five, determining cause and effect. Use a diagram like the one below to show the causes and the effect of the Battle of Fallen Timbers. And number six, persuasive writing. Imagine that you disagree with Washington's policy of neutrality in the war between France and Britain. Write a letter to the president to persuade him to side with France. Answer the essential question. Number seven, what challenges did the United States face during Washington's administration? That concludes chapter eight, section two.